Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ted, and today I'm joined by... I'm Nerdarchist Dave. Are Mind Flayers playable PC races in D&D? Hey guys, jump down in the description below where you can find Nerdarchy, the newsletter, game weekly tips, as, learn how to, as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. We, got, we had a request over on the Facebook page, and it's not really the ideal place to send those. Send them to nerdarchy at gmail.com because I couldn't really find the message again. It got buried. We get a lot of messages over there. Uh, we get a lot of emails too, but at least those we can kind of sort and put them in a folder, and there's a search feature. Makes things a lot easier. Uh, but what, what, uh, this GM wanted to know was how can he take an illithid and make it a player race for one of, one of his players and you either, you know, uh, level, you basically probably level it up as you, as you go and still kind of be like on par with the rest of the party. Well, it's really tough. And it's well, also... So what's the first obstacle? So, well... So the first obstacle is looking at the monster manual and looking up Illithid and realizing that it's under Mind Flayer, not Illithid. That's the first <laughs> obstacle. I'm like, I'm in the eyes. I'm not seeing it. Ah, yes. So page 222 of your trusty monster manual, Mind Flayer. So the, the first thing is these guys are aberrations. These guys are incredibly powerful. A, a Mind Flayer, Illithid, it can go into an area and just dominate things and start taking it over so it's really difficult to say well how do we scale this down to something that's akin to a player race which gets a small power on average this is what races get a small power a proficiency a plus two to one thing and a plus one to something else that is the boiled down version of creating a race and there might be some other minor things but right. yeah but that, that that's what you get um so, magic resistance, innate spellcasting, powers, once a day, dominate monster, plane shift. Oh my god. Alright, actions. It can do, it can attack with its tentacles, it can extract a brain, and it can mind blast. It's a challenge seven monster. So, this is, this is, this is supposed to be a, a tough fight for a fifth to sixth level party. As a solo monster. But you're never using these guys solo. Like, if you're doing it right. Yeah, they got minions. So, so there's some, one thing. First of all, you have to say, well, what is it about introducing this into my game? What is it you're after? What are you looking for? Uh, is it that you just want to be a po powerful mind vampire? Or are you looking for the, the challenge of role-playing this character? And, and, you know, having your character with this mind flare aberration flavor. So there's another there's another thing here, and you know behind me over on the shelf, mutants and masterminds, it taught me a very powerful lesson, and I've probably said this at least a dozen times on the channel. Anything visual is meaningless, and that's what that game taught me. So if you want to do something purely for a visual impact, I say go for it. You know, and if you just want to look like a mind flayer, and be able to play as that as that race and you don't care about the other stuff hey no no problems you could literally say i look like a mind flayer i'm gonna take wizard because it's gonna get me the the most of these abilities you're not gonna get the extract the extract the brain but i'm certain there's a spell that gives you something mind blast related poof done easy peasy well even better play a mystic well you could do mystic as well uh, I mean, let's face it. We're not we're not worried about raw at this point. We've gone way beyond that. Uh, so yeah, you can just play a mystic. But so I, I got a couple ideas. One is reskin. I would look at reskinning the dragonborn, or I would look at reskinning a tiefling. So tiefling. Tief. Sorry, tiefling. I, I say it both. I don't, I don't care. So absolutely. Go when it comes to demons, tech goes both ways. Um, you could do either of those, right? What I would do is my Dragonborn, well, they already get a plus two to, or plus one to Charisma, plus two to Strength. Flip it. Throw, throw that plus two to Intelligence instead of, instead of Strength. Uh, make the damage type a cone and make it Psychic damage and give it resistance to Psychic attacks, which is a little bit weaker. So you might want to give it another ability because... Um, because there isn't a lot of things that do psychic damage in the game, and I feel like they 
Like there's there's certain there's certain resistances that they weigh um, don't weigh as heavy. So mm-hmm. you know maybe you you'd give it a uh, a skill or uh, maybe give it access to insight or persuasion. Mm-hmm. Now the tiefling tiefling is actually even easier because the skills are the 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 ability scores are actually right where you want them in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, they already look weird, so that's done. And they already have spells built into it. Right. And then there's also, in the skag, you have variants. So I would just take a look at, at the spells that they get at the different levels, and I would swap them out, the, the things that are more appropriate, and theme to an elf that are a Mind Flayer character. So that, to me, that like is that's the bottom... Bottom of the barrel, baseline, easiest way, put an illithid type character in the game, looks like it, can kind of feel like it, won't break your game, won't change anything very much. The other thing that the the person, I think what they really were asking for is, how can I start off as a baby mind flayer and grow into a full-fledged mind flayer by the time I am, you know, whatever level. Now, in 3rd edition 3.5, they actually had leveled monsters, and and it had the breakdown per level. I want to play this monstrous race, and here's how you do it. Oh, you gain hit dice at this level. You gain, you know, pluses to this. You gain this skill here, that skill there, this ability, and you could literally do it for just about everything that walked around on two legs, and probably some things that didn't. <laughs> Mind Flayer might have literally been one of those monsters in the book. It was possible. Um, and that's just how it worked. Or you had a, well, this is a ECL or equivalent character level of a 13. So you could put this this thing in, at, in into, as a first level character, at 14th 14. level. So it's like, alright, this is crazy. It never works out well, but I get to play the thing I want. So... You'd have to really break down, okay, this thing says it's got 13 hit dice, and it's got a bunch of crazy abilities. Now... And none of those abilities are appropriate, are appropriate for first level. <laughs> right. So like you or very few of them. So, like, you would have to literally scale things up. So, like, all right, Mind Blast. It does 4 die 8 plus 4 in a 60-foot cone. So, you'd have to literally say, okay, it's going to do a die 8 or 2 die 8. And, and a, in a 15-foot cone, and be able to have your cone grow as you gain levels. Your damage would go up as you gain levels. Um, yeah, you would just, like, base it off of, like, the Dragonborn, I think, at first, and, mm-hmm. then, and then have a level or, or weak spells. But, like, even its innate spells, you know, the, the ones it gets at will are, like, second-level spells. Detect thoughts and levitate. Yeah, they're not, they're not low level. So, like, magic resistance, innate psionics... There's nothing that you could give them easily short of the Mind Blast, and, and you'd have to build up to everything else. The Tentacles, not really that big of a deal. Extract the Brain, you're, you're playing a hero. You, sh- you shouldn't really be touching this ability, so I wouldn't even <laughs> offer that as a thing. Well, you know, here's the thing. Like, I don't think that's a big... It's not such a big deal. It's just that you know, you're going to be we- You're going to be weaker. Uh, you're a weaker version, so at low levels, it's not going to come up that much, and you're gonna unless you can actually grapple someone and do enough damage to then extract their brain. But yeah, I mean, I and you couldn't be able, like starting off. It might take you a while, like a couple of rounds, to like actually get the brain out and do the do that much damage because it is a ton of damage. I mean, ten die ten piercing damage. Which is kind of weird, because you can do the extract the brain and not reduce them to zero. Uh, which kills them, and they devour the brain. But what happens if they're, like... You're still extracting the brain, in essence. What, are you taking out chunks? <laughs> so, that part is kind of weird to me, anyway. <laughs> you're not... <laughs> it's... Um, no, no, yeah, no. but, I mean, 10, 10 die 10 is still a decent amount of damage. Right, so Ma- a... max is 100. Oh, how many times can you do the, you know, do that to a Tarask before it falls? <laughs> <laughs> and do Tarask really have brains? That is the question. Yeah. Now, so, so yeah, l- creating the leveled Mind Flayer is really difficult. Like, you're, like, you know, I would be like, alright, I see, now, I wouldn't take away the Extract Brain, but I would make it a lot, and the Tentacle Attacks, I'd make, just make them a lot weaker. And again, some of the things are going to be based, like the escape DC is going to be based off your proficiency bonus. Mm-hmm. 
You know, so it's going to be a plus two instead of plus seven is, what is that, three or four? Mm-hmm. Uh, so so it's going to be lower in, in that way, and it's going to be based off of, you know, whatever stat it's based off of, probably dex or strength or whatever. Well, it's, got um, a, uh, it's got a low strength and a low dex, so. Yeah. It can't, you know, you, you literally can't give it all the saving throws to start off with. No. You, you you can well, only get two like anybody else. Well, as as a um, as a monstrous race, I mean, you're playing the race as a class, and while the monk at tenth or eleventh level he gets access to all of them, so if he gets proficiency in another saving throw, that could be something else to level towards. Yeah. Uh, so there is precedence to it. You can get another saving throw via feat. His. Um, you know, hit, you know, the telepathy not such a big deal. Like a warlock can get that at first level, but the range is a bit high. How high is his? Uh, One hundred and twenty. It's not bad. Um, I mean, there, there's literally numerous ways to get telepathy. Telepathy in the game. I mean, yeah. racially, ghostwise halflings get it. So, what's the, is the range that high though? I think it's only thirty or sixty. Yeah, that's that. That's but, what I was saying. Just the range is a little high. Uh, but again, skills, that could be something that could be leveled at some point in time. It changes from sixty to one twenty. Five, you know, having five skills isn't particularly crazy, and like the, you're also looking at other things. Do you have to strip out of the game? Like, does part of like do you figure in building the background into it, the race into it, the mm. class into it? It all gum, becomes one mar- modular component. Then I'm like, okay, well, it could have all those skills. Isn't really that big a deal. Mm-hmm. But again, like there's definitely things like at what level is magic resistance appropriate? Well. A warlock can get magic resistance at third level. Wow, really? Yeah, because it can get a familiar that has it and transfers it to the user. Mm. You know, so like there's precedence for that. Like, so you could say that would be that might be a third level ability. And the the real problem is when you get into those spells that are really high level, even if they're only once a day, they're still high level. Or that will spells that are second level, but you know, a second level spell at spell at will is pretty good. Like, I don't even think the wizard... Yeah, I think a wizard has to be, like, 20th level or 18th level before it gets anything even similar to that. Mm-hmm. Um, so so that's the problem. And they don't have a ton of abilities. So, like, parsing them out is going to be harder. So you're, you're looking at making all these weaker abilities and kind of building up to them. So, like, you know, maybe at, you know, your at-wills become per days or your so many yeah, times you, per day. You're, you're not going to get to complete and utter... This is my character sheet. Yeah. You're, you're not going to get towards that because you're, you're not getting the psionic blast, mind blast that recharges on a five six. Every round you're going to roll that d six until you can use it again. That's not right. That's probably something that you're going to get. You're going to have to change it for every short rest. Short you can mind blast. Short rest or like all right. The sh- so you're going to break that down into the how much damage it does, the area effect it does, and how many times you can use it. So you could get it, you know, once every short rest that does two die eight in a 15 foot cone. And then every time you quote unquote level, one of those things is going to go up. I would say, I would say like, all right, that's going to be your primary thing because that's the most that you can, that you can do. So like, I would even say like, you could get that, you know, twice per short rest. Yeah. I was thinking that Um, eventually you you build up to that. Yeah. and, And, and even still that's pale in comparison to what a true mind flayer has. But eventually you're you're gonna be wanting to have class actual levels. class levels that hopefully you're gonna take something that pairs well with what you are. Um you know And so and that's the other trick is figuring out what level do you are you actually a full mind flayer and going forward. So I don't know guys, how would you do it? I I wouldn't do the level thing in my game anyway. I really don't like it. It's weird. I would do the reskin to do a Illithid like race, but not an actual Illithid. Make a th- make a make a modified Tifling or a might have modified Dragonborn, and you're golden. Yeah, there's too many complications with this. So, but you know, someone asked us, and so we figured we'd delve into it a little bit. You know, I if there's some ideas for you if you want to use them in your game, or if you've done something similar, let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can tweet at us at Nerdarchy. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.